Okay, so it's been national news. There is a brewery that's local to me, about 12 minutes from where I live, that is hosting a Disney-themed all-ages drag show. 12 and under are free, and they're encouraging uh, kids to bring $1 bills. So we know, based on other viral videos, exactly the kind of activities that are going to go on inside here and how depraved they are and how ultimately criminal they are. Now, there is going to be a very large protest. A protest permit has already been put in. Um, there's a Proud Boy contingent that's going to be there. And so I know this is going to have like a heavy police presence as well. So I need to be able to get inside and um, I'm not going to be able to do that looking like my normal self. So I'm going to put my costume on so you guys can tell me whether or not I look like sufficiently enough of a freak of nature to get into this psychopath event. Okay, so we're gonna start with the wig. Actually, I'm starting with this outfit because I got it at the thrift store because I thought it looked weird. Obviously, I'm getting, trying to get in so that I can film what goes on because like I said, they're going to be screaming at the door and um, we need to know who the people are who are bringing their kids to this so we can know who to call Child Protective Services on. Okay, I now have this, okay? So we're starting to get a little weirder. And then I thought, just so no one will recognize me, I could wear this, like, All right. So if you are local to Sanford, North Carolina, head down to Hugger Mugger. The event starts at noon today. And um, if you see me, um, just pray for me and pretend like you don't know me. Hi, I'm Funeral Barbie, and my pronouns are Mo and Ron. I cannot wait to head to Hugger Mugger, which is my safe space. I love watching kids be exploited, and I can't wait to watch these boy girls take off their clothes on stage. I'm bringing all my dollar dollar bills. You know who I bet won't be outside protesting this event? Any Republican candidates running for office this election cycle. So if you are somebody that is absolutely disgusted with the direction of our society, if you wanna protect kids, well, 2024 is right around the corner and you have plenty of time to get your mind right, ready to run as a true conservative in 2024. Bring on the fire. I have to act as ridiculous as possible to fit in here. Uh, there's about two dozen people here. I have made it past through several layers of security at this point. Um, not allowed to go inside until uh, noon, I think, is when they open the doors. Um, but something interesting is um, there are several members of Raleigh Antifa here who are acting as like kind of a de facto security and I, I recognize them from my um, reopen NC days so I will keep filming from here and we'll see how it goes okay bye
wait, 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 wait. What? In case my posts today got you down, just remember there are still good people in this world. There's still Lot and there's still Abraham in the midst of Sodom and Gomorrah and um, God's going to fix it. You know, <laughs> I think we should all just stay confessed uh, because we don't know when that chastisement will come and in what form it will take, but it will be justice and it will be good. And uh, I think we need it. Um, and I do understand that like my form of action taking isn't everyone's cup of tea. Um, someone's got to do it. And every once in a while, Emily Grace, you know, my alter ego has to, the extremist has to come out and expose what needs to be exposed and be loud about uh, evil when, um, Facts, big old facts, big old, big old facts, 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 big old facts, yeah, facts. Isn't it funny how it's always the left that freaks out when you call them out on their misdeeds? I have kind of a, you could call it a social media horde of LMNO peers dog piling on me today and it's not the first time this has happened and it won't be the last time but the lie that they are now claiming that I threatened or yelled or harassed or intimidated people while I was at the drag show yesterday the pedophile drag show is funny to me because I actually had really nice chats with them as I was taking photos of their degenerate ass Really sad update to yesterday's drag show event. Apparently after I left, there was a woman holding an infant inside, probably one of the ones I took photos of. Um, and she was dancing, presumably drinking too much. She fell and two ambulances had to be called because she hurt her child. And apparently the infant had to go to the hospital. So um, I'm not really sure why this is hard to understand, but children don't belong in bars let alone ones that have pedophilic pornography going on inside. So. <laughs>